Hey you guys, so I wanted to make this short video over here and I saw comments uh, to my edited Apple M1 iMac MacBook video. Now the reason why I changed this uh, the song is because I saw the original ad, I didn't like it. And I thought to myself, oh, I wonder what song would match with it. I wonder if I could get the timing right. Maybe, maybe not. It was just a fun little experiment. That's it. When I looked into this kind of stuff, right, I was listening to all these songs, I thought to myself, hey, I think Michael Jackson's Rock With You sounds good. I think Charlie Puth's Light Switch sounds good as well. And I uploaded it. I thought it was great. So I came across this comment here from Michael that says, I'm not sure what you're trying to accomplish by just changing the sound. This is day one editing. I guess you're doing it in, in an exercise in editing. And as you guys know, I can definitely do more editing than just changing the sound. Now, the reason why I put this thing in here, the music in here, is because I was just, again, I was just curious. That was it. It wasn't to show you, like, look at me, I can, I know how to change music. Like, no. Um, but I did add something in, which was, like, the taper, the, the fade. So instead of it cutting off abruptly, like in my Apple video that I did, the Tim Cook one uh, that I posted yesterday, I had the sound fade out and it's a lot more professional sound. Now, a person like Michael is that kind of person where they'll see something and instead of saying, oh, hey, that's pretty cool. Oh, whatever, right? They'll go in there and they'll just do a diss. And what the implication is, is Michael is looking down at my content and saying, this is not good enough. I'm better than you. You don't say this kind of stuff like this is day one editing unless you're looking down upon someone, right? This is like telling a person, Person, like, oh, how come you're showing a video about how to properly use a knife? Like, this is something a two-year-old would do. And I've seen comments like this floating around YouTube, and I think it is so toxic. Now, not just YouTube. Think about it in life. There are people out there in life who will tell you things like, how come you couldn't figure this out earlier? You know, this is so elementary. This is so basic. Like, yeah, you accomplished a little goal. You finished a little project, but so what? And those people, what I do in my life, I cut them off. And the reason why I cut them off is because I don't want to go through little small accomplishments, little projects, and then have a person just diss me. Like, I didn't ask for Michael's diss. You know, did I ever say, Michael, how does my editing compare to a professional? Like, no, I haven't. How does it compare to a, another YouTuber? I haven't. But Michael goes in there, inserts their opinion, and it just looks so rude and it just is so off-putting. And I want to use this as a learning experience for you guys so you guys can recognize this. You know, you wonder why people have the hide YouTube button, the hide user. This is the reason why. People want to block this stuff out. And that's the other thing that people on YouTube or people who are starting as content creators have to understand. You need to have a strong self-awareness when you are on YouTube. You have to know your worth as an individual because if you let piece of crap comments like this get under your skin, you're going to stop making content. And the moment that you stop making content, that is the moment that you you stop growing as an individual. I don't leave comments like this like Michael on YouTube because I understand the person behind the YouTube channel, if they see a comment like this, their day could be ruined. Don't assume content creators are ve all very strong individuals. There are people on YouTube who lose their minds in a sense and they just get so frustrated with YouTube because they see people just attacking them and they can't deal with it. For me, I have a good sense of self where I say, okay, this is my personal life. This is the people that I interact with and there's the YouTube community and I understand. I've said this before. I think there's a good chunk of clowns on YouTube and I don't feel bad about saying that at all. Because if you say things like this, it makes me wonder, how do you talk to people in a daily personal life? That's all I wanted to say. Don't be a clown. Don't be like Michael over here. And don't just throw shade at people who are making content. Okay, you guys. I shall see you.